farmers in China's Xinjiang province are turning a desert into a thriving farmland. The government has designed the Three North Forest Belt Program, known colloquially as the Great Green Wall. Neom is accelerating human progress. A new future is coming. This broad project for the world is progressing fast. The line is a civilization revolution, a transformative new city being built in Neom, Saudi Arabia. The energy within Saudi Arabia at the moment is incredible. For thousands of years, the desert has been a graveyard of ambition. Armies have marched into its depths, only to be swallowed by the sand. Nations have tried to settle its lands, only to be driven away by its cruelty. For in this sweltering, desiccated furnace, death strikes the weak, the ill-prepared, or the unlucky. They call it the land of fear. The desert does not compromise. It does not bend to human will. It is a force older than history itself. But today, something unprecedented is happening. Across Asia and the Middle East, two civilizational giants are doing what no empire before them has achieved. They are not just surviving in the desert. They are transforming it. China and the Arab world are rewriting the very definition of what a desert can be. This isn't a story of adaptation. It's a story of domination. Roads now cut through landscapes that should be impassable. Megacities are rising from dunes that once seemed eternal. The sun, once an enemy, has been harnessed into an infinite power source. And water, once an impossibility, is now being extracted created and controlled like never before. For the skeptics who claim this is all an illusion, that these projects are just extravagant ambitions with no real future, the question is simple. How do you argue against reality? How do you deny what is already happening? The old world, the one that accepted the desert as a permanent void, is gone. The future belongs to those who build it. Today, China and the Arab world are proving that nothing is off limits. But how did they fight against the desert? Let's find out. The first and most brutal challenge of desert construction is infrastructure. Everything about the environment is designed to resist human intervention. Roads crack under the stress of extreme temperature shifts. Railways are buried by shifting dunes. Heavy machinery breaks down in the relentless heat. Even before a project begins, the desert is already fighting back. Yet, China has not just built in these impossible conditions. It has mastered them. The South Xinjiang Railway is one of the most ambitious infrastructure projects in history, cutting through 1,213 kilometers of some of the harshest landscapes on Earth. This isn't just about steel and tracks. The conditions should have made this railway an engineering nightmare. The temperatures swing from minus 40 degrees Celsius in winter to 50 degrees Celsius in summer. Sandstorms strike without warning erasing anything left unprotected. In any normal scenario, laying down a railway here would be a logistical disaster. But China doesn't just lay down tracks, it builds fortresses of stability. The steel used in the railway is specifically engineered to withstand thermal expansion. Cooling systems regulate the rails, ensuring that the heat doesn't warp them. Artificial embankments hold the sand back, preventing it from consuming the route. The result? A fully functioning railway that defies every natural law of the desert. And this is just one piece of the puzzle. The Taklamakan Highway runs straight through one of the most unstable desert landscapes in the world. The desert should have swallowed this road in months. Yet it remains intact because China has engineered a defense system around it. Windbreakers, sand barriers, and reinforced pavement that actively resists the elements. If the desert is truly undefeated, then how does this infrastructure exist? If building in the sand is just a fantasy, 
asked then why do trade routes now flow through regions once considered completely uninhabitable? The roads exist. The railways function. The progress is real. One of the greatest myths about desert construction is that it's unsustainable. The argument is simple. Deserts don't have the resources to sustain civilization. No water, no fuel, no lifeline. In theory, even if you could build in the desert, keeping it running would be impossible. Except that China has already shattered that theory. The same desert sun that once made these regions unlivable is now their greatest resource. The Tengger Desert Solar Park stretches across 1,200 square kilometers, producing more energy than entire nations. The sun, which once burned everything in its path, is now harnessed into a limitless power supply. And it's not just solar. The Kubuchi Desert Wind Farm generates electricity for millions of homes, turning the once destructive desert winds into an economic asset. So what's the counter-argument now? That the power grids won't last? That they won't be profitable? If that were true, why has China already expanded these projects? Why are they scaling up, not shutting down? And what about water, the most essential element of all? Again, China has rewritten the rules. AI-driven precision irrigation, deep aquifer extraction, and massive desalination plants have made it possible to sustain agriculture where nothing should grow. The Kubuki Desert Restoration Project has already transformed 660,000 hectares of desert into fertile land. The forests are real. The crops are real. The change is real. But will it last? The better question is, why is it already lasting? China is fighting the desert with infrastructure, but the Arab world is proving that it can be more than just livable. It can be luxurious. Cities are rising in the sand, not in defiance of nature, but in partnership with it. Saudi Arabia's NEOM project is unlike anything attempted before. A city planned to be 33 times the size of New York, powered entirely by renewable energy, cooled by advanced AI-driven climate systems, and designed to be the first truly smart city built from the ground up. People doubted Dubai when it was built. Today, it stands as one of the wealthiest cities in the world. And it's not just Saudi Arabia. The UAE's Mazdar City has already become the world's first carbon-neutral desert city. Advanced desalination plants provide fresh water. Smart infrastructure reduces waste to near zero. The desert was never supposed to be a place for sustainable urbanization until it became one. And for those who say this will fail, they said the same about Dubai. They said the same about Abu Dhabi. The argument has already collapsed. Fifty years ago, the world believed that deserts were too extreme to be tamed. That no civilization could turn them into centers of industry, energy, or population. That no amount of technology could change the fundamental laws of the environment. That belief is now dead. China has built trade routes where nothing should move. The Arab world has built cities where no one should live. Solar grids have replaced barren land. Agriculture has replaced dry wastelands. The transformation isn't hypothetical. It is happening, right now. The only question left is, what comes next? If China can reshape the Gobi, why not the Sahara? If the UAE can sustain cities in the dunes, why not Antarctica? If the laws of nature can be rewritten, what part of the Earth is truly off-limits? For centuries, deserts were feared. Now, they are being engineered. And the people who once doubted it? They are running out of arguments. Because the desert isn't winning anymore, the future is being built. China and the Arab world are proving that the most extreme landscapes on Earth can become centers of innovation, energy, and economic dominance. And this transformation matters to everyone, from the US to Europe, from Africa to Asia. The rise of desert megacities, solar farms, and hyper-efficient infrastructure is not just a local achievement. It is a global shift that will impact trade, energy security, and even climate change. Do you think more nations need to step up too? Let us know in the comments section.
Will the world become a better place if all nations unite for the sake of global progress? Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about. China's projects, economy, and increasing power. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned.